are live. Good morning, everybody. It's a, I keep wanting to say it's a Monday morning. I feel like a deja vu from New York, so I'm here with Giancarlo. Hello. 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 And we're doing <laughs> makeup this morning, um, just as a, we want to do a little makeup, what to wear with blue, and then I've got to go and do some TV later. So just an opportunity to catch up with John and um, do a little makeup and catch up with you guys. I hope you had a lovely um, holiday weekend. I think it was a holiday all around the world because I know it was Memorial Day on, on, in America and I think other countries had the Monday off. And then I went to the races, I went to Windsor races, lost every bet, um, <laughs> which was just very predictable actually. Uh, I either go for what the jockey's wearing or I go because the um, stable sounds Irish. <laughs> All right. Or I go because um, there's a great uh, name connection. That's how we bet as a family. So um, it, it, two wins for the whole family, seven of us went. That's why. Good morning. John is doing, now I've got still, just to give a close on the yeah. camera, <clears throat> I have these peptide injections above my mouth. Two issues that are concerning me at the moment are the lines around my mouth, which I clear, cover up immediately with Miracle Blur, but I've got some that go literally up to my nose. So Dr. Seabag went to him last week and he said, I want to try this peptide, which is a really strong peptide. So he injected the peptides and I've got like needle marks um, above my lip. But we're gonna cover them yes. with some, um, just a touch. Do you like to use a brush? I like to use the brush first, because I kind of get into the pores and then I go in there and I see what I need. Finger touching. Yeah, 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 so. Because everyone has their own technique. Yeah, I like the brush first, and then I go in with that, and then I'll... You then can come up close and if you want to show, and if there's any questions, darling. Yeah, so can you talk us through your outfit and where your necklace is from? Oh, all right. Um, the dress is Essentials Antwerp, which is... I've got a pair of jeans underneath, because I woke up this morning not knowing if I wanted to tuck it in the jeans or just have it long, so I've got both options. And this is a seven- or eight-year-old Zara jacket, and this is from... Eric's and Beamer, which is an old jewelry store on Elizabeth Street, and I don't know if they do these necklaces anymore. It's a very, it's like 15, 17 years old. So this is really vintage shopping today um, in my wardrobe. And what products would you recommend for hand luggage? We've done about three or four films under travel on trinilondon.com forward slash blog um, forward slash travel. So have a look, because Depending on where I'm going, it's quite an open-ended question. Are you going to hot country? Are you going, you know, for a special weekend? So I've got all about decanting, skincare products I take, makeup I take, you know, the fact that our stacks um, do, you know, you can buy also empty teapots. So I always have my cleanser, my moisturizer, a mask in those empty teapots. Um, so everything is covered. What, what's our palette today? Or were you doing under eye first? Just under eyes. I'm just using a bit of red at first. And I'm just gonna dab that on. I don't know if any of you haven't used this yet, but this yeah. is a serum and a concealer. I had a baby together. When I was doing the formulation, I wanted something, because I never really have believed in eye cream. And we've had this conversation yeah. before, but yeah. I kind of think, sometimes when I use eye cream, I've used a sizzly gorgeous one, because I want comfort, hydration. But all those eye creams that say lift and tighten, I always felt just made me look more lined under my mm -hmm. eyes. So I wanted something that would hydrate under the eyes, but give coverage. So we put in, ooh! Traffic jam, a few ones outside. <laughs> um, we put in hyaluronic, but different size molecules. We put in some peptides, uh, two peptides. It helps sort of break down dark circles and lots of vitamin C. And then very, very good pigment. Yeah. So the other thing, and I don't know how many women that you've done this to, John, because John works across our stores too. It's getting women use the idea of having a concealer the color of their skin not lighter exactly and lots of women it just depends really, really a lot of people a lot it dependent it depends on the lady really some people like to keep it the same skin tone and then some people like to lighten it up but I mean, the I think texture is my favorite the texture is the texture yeah, yeah it's, it's great it's so creamy i mean i think for women who are used to having it paler it could be that when you first started trying concealer um, Touche Cat was the only one that was available and whatever your skin colour was, there was only one colour. So people of caramel skin might be wearing Touche Cat and yeah. it was like a panda and my, for my skin tone too because I'm a little bit olively compared to a sort of porcelain. It was really pale so I got used to that so you know that was what I felt under I was but in fact you've got to go back to what's the purpose of what you want a product to do and you want 
to get even skin tone. You don't want to see dark circles. You want puffiness to be reduced. So to do that, really the best way to do that is to continue the color on the rest of your face up to your eye. So I'm shouting out because we've, we've now got the bins. Um, so how many of you grew up with paler under eye concealer and how many of you have actually, um, you know, understand to use the same shade? Yeah. One of the routines people keep asking for are how to cover dark circles, so yeah. I think that's, that's something we can definitely cover. And this is something that we could do on, I think it'd be very nice to do. You know one thing John could do this morning mm -hmm. is just showing different dark circles in the room and you're just covering different dark circles and how you cover them differently. Because a lot of people who say, John, they have dark circles, have a bag. Yeah, I you mean, know, and a lot of women who say yeah. have dark circle. Yeah. Weirdly, the darkest bit is their inner eye. Like you're like that. Yeah. And that's what makes you feel tired. And the, and the thing is, as well, like, you have to. Be, some people think that they have to put concealer all the way across. But sometimes it's just the smallest little bit where they carry most of the discoloration. Yeah. just in, in the inner corner, yeah. you know. And I think there are many women who put it down here. Put it too low. Don't yeah. put it here, and then they get um, they don't feel it's working. So. Maybe you could do different women and do yourself, John, yeah. because he, you need it in there. Um, <laughs> you need it in here, John. You're honest, yeah, you're really <laughs> um, But also, I mean, for some women, I do yeah. think you should do it low because I do in that shape because I, I don't want to, you know, especially if you use something a bit paler, you've got to bring it down to break up that change in colour. Yeah, I agree. I agree. So there, or, there are different ways to apply. So should we do that stain, Isha? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, yeah. great. We'll do that stain and post that up this week. So there's a bit of Lady J going on the cheeks. Lady J. One of my favourites. I know, and it's out of stock. Oh but no. a Lady J dupe is actually Electra because it's a very similar tone. And probably um, if you mix Electra and, and Wigs, you would get Lady J. Um, with VB, which is also out of stock, I'll tell you what a dupe is for me. Well, yeah. probably it's m mixing. I mean, you could actually get there with a bit of Chloe. Shasha and Sasha. Yeah. I know it sounds weird, but if you have to stop, have those three and you mix them together, you could get towards beauty. There's a few people in the comments asking about um, hand creams and if you could recommend a good oh, one. Oh, can I say I'm on a hand mission? <laughs> I'm on a hand mission the whole weekend, so I'm actually going to do a hand one because yeah. I was in Dr. Seabags and somebody was going into their, and I said, why are you here? And they went, I go to have filler in my hands. So I went, you're what? Yeah. So they had gone in, they was probably about 65 and they felt there were a lot of deep, um, you know, deep hollows in their hands. So they were going to have filler in to puff up their hand. I found that quite staggering. That's a very extreme idea, but we can just talk about all of them. Wow. And I've been using um, dark pigment relief cream from SkinCeuticals for my little age spots on my hand and I do feel it's helping. I've been using also... Um, an Omega 6 cream from an Italian pharmacist, which Federica recommends to me as a hand cream. And I've been using a little peel and microneedling. So we could just do a hand maintenance one, Nisha. Will you remember mm -hmm. that? Yep. Because that would be a good one. We can do that. Yeah. Just going back to the BFFI, a few people asking, can you use it on your eyelids too? Yeah. Yeah. I do. I mean, yeah. when you want that really clean look, clean look. Mm, yeah, then it's, it's very nice because... If you want that clean look and you're a skin tone between probably Bambi and Zandi, you could use Justice. But if you're anything darker than that, then Wisdom wouldn't. Wisdom might do it for some skin shades. Like if you wore Wisdom, but it would still show up. I think if you want that very clean eye, just using your, your BFFI is gonna help it. Just to give that lovely look of continuity. Because some people get redness on their eyelids and some people get very blue eyelids and sometimes that makes us just feel also a little tired. We've got a few people asking what shade concealer we were using. Redder. We're using Redder and Redder really matches with Trintron and Amelia um, and they do match, um, you know, Izzy matches with Bambi and Mary matches with Clara and... Mary matches with Clara and... I think we did in the end that we did Victoria for both Lily and Yas, which are red tone based girls. And then Zandi is in, what color is Zandi? Zandi has a one to one match. Nisha, you don't know, darling, do you? No. And then Reda is for Trintron, Amelia, and Davinia is for Santa. 
and then it goes up. So it's a two to one or one to one match. What are you doing now, John? So I've just gone in with, I'm using two of the warrior queens. A little look what he's doing. Oh, you're using warrior yes. queens. Yes, and a little bit of desire, just a little bit. Just, I love desire. Yeah, I love you it too. Smoke my, my eye up. I gotta smoke it on the bottom. So I use, I smoke it on the bottom. I use a little bit of lighter on the top. But can you also smoke on the, the top? At the top of time. Let's do it. Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. Let's do it. 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 We need some miracle blur as well because I'm a bit shy. Oh, yeah. And a bit more blush. I haven't got enough blush for telly. It needs to be a bit strong. I mean, Ooh. even for me, that's pale blush. John's subtle. I like to kind of, I look at my face when John's like, can I have a bit more, please? More, more. More, more. I always got somebody saying, how do you get this amazing glow on your face, Trini? Well, I did this morning do the light therapy from, um, I did a, a, I did mixture. I did um, the, not Ducalux, what's the machine called? Dermalux. D Dermalux. I did the Dermalux at home, this machine that they sent me, this hugely commercial machine they sent me, so I did that this morning. And I did light therapy over the weekend, the mask, the LED mask, which just helps to plump up skin and helps with redness. It's got red LED and infrared LED, and the combination of the two of them is a very good anti-aging combination. LED is also very good if you have blemishes, you can put on a different kind of combination of light. And the um, Dermalux, the one I have at home, I'm trying to get different guys in the office to use it so we can all test for different things. Last week went out the window because it just didn't work. <laughs> Our rotor. <laughs> this week, um, we're gonna hopefully have better rotor and people can try it and give feedback on it, but it is, you can go and have a treatment. I do think it gives skin incredible glow. Boo the Cockapoo is asking, does putting a dry mask under the Boost LED mask okay. help? Let's talk about this. I'm going off, off, you know, off mat, off road. But generally, most people would say, if you're doing LED, don't put anything on your skin before because you don't want anything to be as a barrier for the LED to get through, which I totally agree with. Theresa Tommy told me that too, and I really respect Theresa Tommy, who's an amazing facialist and uses Dermalax in her treatments and is bringing out her own portable, really like high-end, thousand-pound-ish LED machine, which I'm very, very excited about. But, Jill at Victoria Health, who's quite eccentric and fantastic, said she tried the Nanette de Gasp Vitality Revealed Mask and she found it amazing. So I did try it when I was in America, when I was doing all those. You know, with Mark, John and I worked really hard in America. And my skin was great. My skin was amazing. And I did that every day. So I do think, <clears throat> but then another mask I tried and it didn't go through. So I don't know if it was specifically that mask. I don't know what it was but it did more than if I did the light on its own. So I just have to say, there was something going on there, which was great. Um, not to be tried for everyone. I, you know, I do do the extreme of what anyone else would do, and that's kind of, should be carried as a health warning at the end of all my blogs. I think just off the back of Fashion Friday, we've got Dan Z asking, can you wear silver and gold together? For example, a silver sequin top and a muted gold platform sandal? I love mixing silver and gold, but I think, you have to sit in the neutral zone. And John, can you just let us know what colour is on Trini's cheeks, please? VB, actually. Yeah, it's VB. No, it's v not. Sorry, it's Lady it's J. Lady it's Lady J. J. Which is out of stock, but we can look at... You could look at Electra or... Probably I'll look at yeah. Electra. Yeah. And do you need to use a primer underneath BFF? I think it, I see it as a primer. If you're somebody who needs to use a primer to mattify your skin, then I would use the La Roche-Posay mattifier, which we do on customers with very oily skin. Otherwise not. Will you be coming to Cardiff anytime soon? Oh, uh, I'd love to. At the moment, we're just plotting where we'll go in the country. And if, if there's a Trini Tribe Cardiff and it has enough members, whereas I sort of said, if you have 200 members in the Trini Tribe, we'll start to think how we get to you. So um, I think there is a Trini Tribe Wales. It started a couple of weeks ago. It maybe has about 50 members. So grow those members, get the noise and we'll come. Um, Bea the Cockapoo is asking, do you have a location for the pop-up in Bath? Yes, I think we do. And I think it's off Royal Crescent. Brook Street, does that make sense? And also, Booth the Cockapoo, I want to ask you, because you live in Bath or nearby, 
Can you galvanize ladies? Because we're thinking of doing it the Tuesday to the Sunday. I think it's the 17th, something like that. And we just want to know how many makeup artists should we bring down. So we're taking this townhouse. We can do four appointments an hour. You can come as a set of four friends. We're going to do evening masterclasses, mini masterclasses. I really want to have like 500 women through the door in those, in those um, five days. So um, we're just reaching out to a few people, but I'd love to reach out to you and see what we can do together. So um, let us know your thoughts. There's a few people asking, how do you know if you've got cool or warm skin tones? It's a mixture because it's whether you're cool, warm or mid and it's not skin tone. It's a combination of your skin, hair and eye that gives you that cool, mid or warm. So because I have slight warmth in my hair, tiny warmth in my skin, but cooler eyes, I sit in a neutral place. Um, if you look at Shasha, she's got very warm caramel skin. She's got dark hair, but it's slightly warm and her eyes are a warm brown and she's warm. Um, if you look at Lucy, who's about 30-ish, 32, 3, who's done some of the how eyes, um, she's got lovely green eyes, kind of pale olive skin and neutral hair. She's totally neutral, um, so she can wear warm and cool. Lulu is cool. Um, she has that cool blonde hair, very pale Bambi skin and a very cool blue eye. Um, uh, Nicole is warm and she's got dark caramel skin um, and she's got a, a warm brown eye and she's got brown, dark brown hair. Um, Cheryl is cool. She's got sort of greyish hair. These are all people who are on Trinity London you might see and sort of pink toned skin a bit um, and a very strong blue eye. So when we, if you do match to me on Trinity London, you can kind of really figure out what you are or we will figure out for you um, and really work out which makeup suits you according to that. So mm -hmm. whether you wear core, cool, warm or mid-tones on your eyes and we might start sorting out our eye colours by that as well a, a little bit more if you don't do match to me. There's a few people saying, so excited about Dublin, please bring John. Yes. <laughs> yes. I mean, we are, you're so excited about Dublin, we haven't confirmed where we're going yet, yeah. we just talked about it on the weekend, but everyone was obviously watching that live for a few minutes. <laughs> but um, we do want to come to Dublin, and you are our biggest audience after England, for sure. Uh, so we are looking now so um, in September that. to come and, and think where we'll do it, probably near Brown Thomas. Um, and do a pop-up and we're looking for one right now. So if anyone has any connections, I think I said it's on Saturday, <laughs> they work in real estate or they have a lovely townhouse that they want to, you know, um, get promotion on because we want to try and just do a bartering deal, then um, we'll show off your beautiful townhouse and, and be in a central location to do makeup. People are asking how they get tickets for Dublin. Well, Dublin hasn't started yet. We haven't even found the location, so please, you lovely Irish ladies, hold up until we get ourselves sorted, because that's so Irish, isn't it? Hey, come on, we're there already, and we haven't even found ours. You can see how much your, your, your um, compadre is laughing his head off. Compadre. But we will be getting there in September. And I know that Noel's going to be watching yeah. this and going, Trini, you're speaking too soon, but we will. I'm determined. When we get determined, it gets done. Mm, lovely. Ooh. Now we might have to do the brow out of the room. Do you have any face finish here, darling? Yes. I mean, uh, uh, do you have any Miracle Blush? I do. Or oh, can I have some? I just yeah. put a little bit more on. There we go. Thank you, darling. So put the brow on there. And just, oh, sorry. sorry. <clears throat> okay, any other last burning desire questions? Charlotte's asking, Freckles, what do you think, Trini? Oh, the best. And John. I love Freckles. I love so freckles. Much. We had some girls in New York, didn't yeah, we? And we they were like, them. Oh my freckles, when you said celebrate and embrace your freckles. Yes. I think the issue for girls with freckles is um, how do they decide what foundation shade to use? And I think it's always using something that's slightly in between. If you have freckles where the freckle dominates your skin tone, you can lean more towards the color of your freckles. But if they sit equally, that you have skin that's not freckled with skin that's freckled, I would pick a shade in between those shades, because otherwise if you pick the shade of your neck, it's going to wash you out. And if you pick the shade of your freckle, you'll look too sort of fake tanned. So that's my thought, yeah. A little, little bit, bit of Sophia, Sophia as a sort of brow pomade. 
and, and Sophia is our cheap end product, yeah. but it does work if you just want to add in a bit of brow. Trini has great brows anyway, so she doesn't need much, but just to, just where it just to down, polish yeah. it off and just have it a yeah. little bit more shape to it. Yeah. And where can people buy our products in London? Where can people buy what? Time? Buy our products. Oh, in London, you can either go to Fenwick on Bond Street or Brain Cross, or you can go to visit us on trinilong.com and you can book an appointment to come to us um, at Elm Place, uh, which is our tiny townhouse. Town. <laughs> townhouse, sorry, my words are all coming out wrong. Townhouse. And then from about the 5th of June, we're going to be here, and there'll be eight stations in this room. This room is being in the midst of being done up. And you'll be able to... Um, have your makeup done and come with girlfriends. It's going to be fantastic. There okay, there we're done. So yeah. just to recap what we did. Okay, so we went in with light to medium in BFF, which is one of our best sellers. And then I went in with Trinchon, which is Trinchon. Yeah. And then we went in with, with our Reda, which is BFF I, which is Trini's color. That was skin, and then I went in with just two of her eyes, which was Victory and Desire. Victory and Desire. I love these two together. I know, this is our new Warrior Queen collection. My favourite. Beautiful. Love them. Sasha, because, I mean, I'm obsessed with this such a new... He's so lazy. <laughs> he just it. always goes in with the same thing. I love it, though. It's so nice. <laughs> it is, yeah. it is a little bit of starlight, because... Trini never lets me use it, but I always get away using you it. You do get away with using it, and it's, it's nice, just... yeah. yeah. I like a little bit of um, yeah. But I would, funny enough, do more Sasha. Okay. I mean, I'd do thicker. Let's do it. Should we do it? Yeah. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh. If I like, when you do more, you get the shirt. That for lunch now. <laughs> yeah, no, I know. That's how much Sasha I love. I can never have enough lunch. Sorry about all the um, garbage trucks this morning. They really are making a huge noise. But um, we just want to give you a quick little makeover, makeup, and John's going to work later on some things. I will catch up later. Bye. Bye. Bye guys.